Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hello, welcome to the College Investor Audio Show. Today we kind of clear up a question. I know a lot of people have this. What is a clearinghouse? So let's just get right to it. You know, most investing brokers, including investment apps, use clearinghouses to ensure that financial transactions settle correctly. While most stock and ETF sales settle in a matter of seconds, these clearinghouses play an important role in keeping the financial markets safe and secure. If you use an investment app like Robinhood, Stash, or a lot of others, the app enlists the help of a clearinghouse to ensure all transactions take place. Here's what you need to know about these independent companies that are involved in all your securities sales. First of all, let's answer the question, what is a clearinghouse? A clearinghouse is an independent company that matches buyers to sellers in a securities transaction. By law, all public clearinghouses must be members of SIPC, Securities Investor Protection Corporation. Since clearinghouses are a part of SIPC, they can offer financial protection to brokers. They protect buying and selling brokerages if one party is illegally trading or if the brokerage goes bankrupt. Now, they also take care of the administrative tasks associated with most financial transactions. Clearinghouses are essential to keep security markets running smoothly. Whenever someone wants to sell or buy a financial product, a clearinghouse is responsible for everything related to ensuring that a securities transaction happens. Without clearinghouses, brokers would need to call one another on the phone and email stock certificates to one another after checks settled at the banks. <laughs> so thanks to clearing firms, buying and selling stocks takes mere seconds. So bes besides the risks involved with emailing all that data back and forth, clearinghouses take on that risk for us of all the stock transactions while they are in the transaction. Often, the clearinghouse will be responsible for just a few seconds. However, in difficult or complex transactions, the clearinghouse may take on more responsibility. Self-clearing versus independent clearing. Hmm, there are two basic types of clearinghouses, which are also called clearing firms. The first type is an independent clearinghouse. An independent clearinghouse works with many broker firms. Apex Financial is an example of an independent clearinghouse. This company is the clearinghouse for apps like M1 Finance, Betterment, Wealthsimple, and many other small companies. Because Apex Financial is an independent clearing company, it charges clients to settle transactions on their behalf. The companies that use Apex Financial typically pass on costs to Main Street investors through management fees, transaction fees, or other types of fees. However, as an investor, you'll never see a fee directly charged from Apex Financial. The other type of clearinghouse is a self-clearing firm. Major discount brokers like TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Vanguard, Robinhood, and others own private clearinghouses. These companies have enough trading volume to justify owning an independent clearing firm to settle their transactions. This can mean lower trading costs or lower management fees for clients, but that isn't always the case. The exact price you pay for your investments depends on the fee structure at a firm. These companies may charge lower fees, but that isn't always the case. How do clearinghouses work for investment apps? For an investment app to function properly, it needs to partner with a clearinghouse. You can find out the exact company that services your app by searching your firm, Clearing Corporation. Should you choose an investment app based on its clearing firm? Typical investors, even those buying individual stocks, are unlikely to care much about which clearinghouse a company uses. Most trades are executed within a matter of seconds, regardless of which clearinghouse is in use. However, high-frequency traders, especially those that use margin accounts, need to consider clearing firms as well as brokers. A clearinghouse's rules influence rules related to margin, including the assets required to be a margin client. Clearinghouses are also important if you tend to buy stocks with very low trade volume. Shares of these stocks can be hard to buy and sell so the clearinghouse becomes more important to the matching process. And that is our show for today. I hope it adequately answered the question, what is a clearinghouse? 
If it didn't, you want to find out more, dig deep into this question, you can find it at thecollegeinvestor.com. Thanks again for stopping by today. We'll talk to you again real soon.